All right. Shalom. Before our sermon, we give all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rukhach Kurash, to honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and citations to all like Akim Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, truth, and sincerity. Another uh, video to the Spirit. And this one's actually from this uh, interview that was pretty good by Kryptonite. You know, he was a former gangbanger and whatnot. You know, he's turned his life around. He was talking about some of his experiences and how many of our, you know, the Israelite young man, how he's led astray into gang culture and doesn't really realize it until he's a bit older, which is of a truth. All right. He saw has set up a system to make sure that Jake don't know what the hell is going on. All right. And basically he gets to talking about guns and violence and how violence is the only violence <laughs> is the answer for us to get out of our situation. And he's going to go on to, of course, he's going to explain what he means by that. All right. And I'm going to be relaying it to the scriptures. You know, you, you got these, some of these other Israelites talking about, oh, I don't hate the white man. Well, first off, we, we do hate the white man and our Lord hates the white man. All right. And we're not going to be able to negotiate our way out of this situation. We're not going to be able to buy our way out of the situation. We're going to have to. Yeah, our Savior, our Messiah is going to rip his grip off of us violently. All right. Esau's blessing was the sword. That is how he conquered the world. And through violence, he will also lose this world. All right. So it's your brother Malak from GMS Detroit. Let's get it. And I'm just going to be real, man. Martin Luther King had it wrong, bro. Wait. Yeah. With that gun in your hand. Like, I'm, I'm going to say it. And I'm just gonna be real, man. Martin Luther King had it wrong, bro. Then listen what I'm telling you. I don't want to discredit this man. Yeah, right. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm not here to discredit Martin Luther King. There's no way I can. This brother will live forever. Speaking but he had it wrong. Violence is the way. Violence has always been the way. It's always been the way. Always been the way. He will stop because of violence. Yeah. And I'm not saying the ability to kill somebody. I'm saying the ability to protect yourself from being killed. Violence stops somebody from coming across that line. Yeah. Do you, do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, in order to halt something. To other, other halt something. You, know, you want to halt it right there. Yeah, you, you, you got to protect your woman. You got to do this. You got to do that. Violence has always been the answer. Yeah. The, the, the greatest, if I had to go back and stop any technology, right? Right now you're doing AI and all that stuff, right? The gun was technology, bro. Okay, so yeah, that was technology at that could, time. You could with swords and, and I knives with and bow and arrows. Because the gun enabled the white man to cross into territories and control them that he couldn't control before. That's facts. So let's stop right there. We're going to let it play out. But that's straight facts. Violence stops people from doing things that they otherwise would not do. Hell, you can tie that into the law. The death penalty of the law was a good deterrent for you not to commit particular sins such as homosexuality such as adultery right but let's deal with the fact that for us to get out of the situation see we're not going to be able to talk our way out of it we've tried we've we tried mlk's way we tried going to school being good little boys and niggas going to harvard we still find ourselves getting our heads smashed on concrete dunked like chicken nuggets so Yahweh Shai is going to have to come and do something for us. Jeremiah 31 and 11. For, the, for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai hath redeemed Jacob and ransomed him out of the hand of him that was stronger than he. So we are in Esau's hand and he is stronger than us. He's not going to let us talk our way out of it. We have to be forcibly removed out of here. Which is why us, the Israelite nation, one of the curses that was given to us was what? In Deuteronomy, that we will have no might in our hand. We have no ability to stand against Esau. We have no ability to stand against the heathen. Therefore, we are dominated upon. And like he said, if I could do one thing and go back in time, he said I would go back and stop the gun from being created. Because that's what allowed the so-called white man to, to go around conquering places he couldn't conquer. And he's not lying. That's, that was Esau's blessing in Genesis, which is how we know he is that red horse in Revelation, the sixth chapter. All right, matter of fact, let's go here. 
we need our Savior to come. And, and contrary to what these Christians believe, he's not coming just to give a big hug and everyone goes to heaven. No. He's coming to beat these heathen into submission that are lording over us. Isaiah 52 and uh, 3. For thus saith the Hawa Bashim Yahweh Shai, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. So, how did we sell ourselves? Did we literally walk up to white people and say, buy us? No. We committed sin, which allowed us to fall and be given into the hand of the heathen. All right? We, we effed our own selves over, if you will. But it tells you that we shall be redeemed without money, meaning what? We're not going to come out of this by economics, which is the only answer that, you know, you deal with one of these Pan-Africanists, you know, or these black out power people. We're not going to economics our way out of this situation. We need divine deliverance violently. All right. Uh, I'm going to go to five. It says, now, therefore, uh, matter of fact, I'll go, I'll read four through five. It says, for thus saith the Hawabashim Yahushai power. My people went down aforetime into Egypt to sojourn there, uh, and and the Assyrian oppressed them without cause. And you know, y'all should know the history of Egypt. How did we get out of Egypt? Did did we negotiate with Pharaoh? No, he didn't want to negotiate. What had to happen? He had to get obliterated. The death of the firstborn. All right, the plagues had to happen. How did how, what happened to the Assyrians? Uh, uh, was it 185,000 other men got? slain by an angel okay violence is universal nigga an uh, ant understands violence verse 5 now and uh, you know obviously I'm not saying for us to get up and go bear arms I'm just dealing with the fact that the Messiah is going to deliver his people by way of putting down the heathen by force that is how this wraps up and it is biblical prophecy and anyone who is uncomfortable with that fact or wants to shy away from it or gets queasy over it or wants to try to protect their image by not bringing out those scriptures they're a piece of shit and they don't know they don't have the understanding all right it says uh now therefore what have i here saith the lord that my people is taken away for naught they that rule over them make them to howl saith the lord and my name continually every day is blasphemy so the heathen that rule over us, they afflict us in such a manner to where we cry out. That's what it means that it makes us to howl. We don't howl like dogs and wolves. We are crying out because the oppressor. Therefore, our deliverer will be sent to redeem us. Hey, now, what's an example of the Heavenly Father using some of that violence? All right, Isaiah 34 and 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. The sword of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of the lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. So this lets you know that the Messiah is coming back to destroy the Edomites. Not negotiate, not talk, not reason, not have a UN vote to destroy them. That's how it goes. As a matter of fact, type in uh, this. Yeah, yeah. Type in mighty hand. How were we delivered out of uh, Egypt? Was that Daniel? I thought I saw. Salakia. Uh, boom. <laughs> Daniel 9 and 15. It says, And now, O Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our power, that has brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt, with a mighty hand and has gotten the renown as it as at this day we have sinned we have done wickedly and i'm just pulling this to show you so we were delivered out of egypt with a mighty hand not by negotiation so that's what it's going to take to get up out of here and we're not going to shy away from that we hate you edomites the lord hates you edomites the world hates you edomites you will fall by how you rose into power you destroyed your way in so you're getting destroyed on the way out all right let's go back all right, so we'll come back to the clip. Control before. aspects. He brought that magical. He brought he brought that stick with fire. Yeah, that stick and with now that's fire. what I'm saying. Before this, he brought that stick with fire. Hey, what did Gad and Reuben call it? What did Gad? Hey, come on, man. Hey, you can't make the, everybody. And this guy, you know, he doesn't. 
you know, he's not a, a, as far as I know, he doesn't follow the Israelite belief, right? He doesn't understand that he's an Israelite. But it's a world-known fact that you so-called white people came into power by killing everybody. Everybody knows that. And over here at Great Millstone, we not scared to tell you that to your fucking face. Damn it. We don't have a 501c3 charter. We can say whatever the hell we want. Whenever we want. To whomever we need. <laughs> With some scriptures in hand, damn it. You had to be an organized group of people. You know how long it would travel to walk the fucking Houston to fight niggas in Houston exactly. with a whole group and feed them yeah. to get down and motivate them to even do it. Motivate them to even do it. Yeah. So unknown to territory. No unknown territory. It kept people in their pocket yeah. until that gun came about. Alright, you may speak. You speak. You, you hear what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm implementing that to say violence is the way. Violence has always been the way. But it has to be controlled in a manner in which to what when you on top, you gotta have mercy. For the people that ain't. And that's a very mature, uh, that's a very mature understanding of violence because it's one thing to understand violence, to use it, but violence is not the end all be all. It is simply a tool of peace and order. And you can tell, you know, if you go watch this interview, it's a pretty decent interview. He shows you how that, that gang life ain't no good. And you can tell that he's learned his lesson from his time spent in prison. He did eight years. You know, he was involved in a robbery and a murder, him and his brother. His brother's still in the pen, you know, 40-some years of life. But that's a mature way to understand violence. So I'm not just, you know, we're not just anarchists over here. Violence is simply a, tool, a disciplinary tool. See, Esau uses violence wickedly, right? He, 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 didn't, he didn't use violence and righteousness. We're going to use violence and righteousness, dominate the world, and we're going to be merciful proper and righteous <laughs> with it so how about that and that's that's a whole nother token see let me get uh uh, uh damn let me get uh because you know we already know esau he has his blessing but see he he rules over the world wickedly he doesn't rule over it righteously he doesn't use his power for wicked uh, for righteousness he uses his power that he's been given for wickedness and that's going to be the difference with us we're going to use violence as a tool to establish the kingdom. Here we go, continue. I'm sitting here looking for this scripture for like five minutes. See, Esau, he doesn't use it. I'm gonna have to get that scripture in Ecclesiastes. He doesn't use it for a season. He's just a demon. He just, here it is, this guy controls the world and he's still just cracking off on everybody. Like, damn, bro. Is, is any, can we enjoy the earth yet? Can anyone enjoy the earth yet? Oh, no, no, we can't. Oh, well, damn, you know, well, darn. You know, he, he don't want nobody. Uh, I gotta go that way. He don't want nobody enjoying the world. Not even himself. He don't even let his own people fucking enjoy the world. Isaiah 14 and uh, 6, it says, He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke. He that ruled the nations <laughs> in anger is persecuted and none hindereth. So when it, when it comes towards him, Everybody's gonna be cool with it. Why? Because he's been he's just been he hasn't been showing mercy. All right, in judgment, remember mercy. I, be I believe that's a I believe that's a scripture. Uh, let me see. Oh yeah. Uh, let me see. Uh, Salakia. Okay, let me see. Uh, it wasn't judgment, it's wrath. Habakkuk 3 and 2. Esau doesn't do this. That's why he's not a fit ruler. All right, Habakkuk 3 and 2. Yep. Oh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, I have heard thy, peak, thy speech and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. And that's our prayer and his wrath and destroying this world to remember mercy for us. Well, Esau doesn't do that. He, he's not, let me get this, uh, Ecclesiastes 31, to everything there is a season, a time to every purpose under heaven, a time to born, a time to die, a time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted, uh, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. Esau only 
does the negative of these, if you will. He doesn't heal anything. He doesn't build up anything. All he does is pluck up, tax, kill, bomb, destroy, lie. He is not a fit ruler. All he knows is violence, so he needs to be met with that force to, 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 to disannul him. All right, let's come back. And which to what? When you on top, you got to have mercy for the people that ain't. Do you understand what I'm saying? This America dropping an atomic bomb twice. Twice. Right? And making sure nobody else do it. And now he's going to use the example of that bomb shit, which, uh, you know, I'm not going to justify. Uh, I mean, you know, we don't give a fuck about no goops. But Esau, uh, he's no hero. All right. He's no hero under any circumstance. So, you know, he's speaking out of his own heart. So he's going to go off a little tad bit right here. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to let it play out. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Violence is always the way. Violence is the answer. Rest in peace to Dr. Martin Luther King. I'm just, I'm just speaking facts. You know, is it fucked up that that's the answer, though? Nah. It, it, what I'm saying is this: you, you can't put it back in the box. Exactly. The first, listen. The first. I 100 agree. Yeah, that's what you ask me, is it wrong? Yeah. It, it's not wrong, that, that's the law. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, just like it's love, it's hate. Mm -hmm. Like, it, 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 it's a duality. Like, the lion you know can't, can't, like can't talk a deer to give, give me you. <laughs> like, yeah. You gotta hunt them up and down You gotta hunt them down and yeah. eat. Like, you gotta I, it. violence is the way. It always showed us the way. It has to be controlled and it has to be used properly once attained or you will self-destruct. That's real. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It was a real threat that we would kill off everybody on the planet from nuclear power. It was a real right? threat. So it has to be controlled and it has to be managed. But we cannot be naive to be like violence is not the way. Stay dangerous. So tell us. Um, hey. No, hey, he spoke, you know, he spoke a little truth. You know, he spoke a little, he spoke some truth right there. Violence. <laughs> hey, stay dangerous. And, you know, ultimately, you know, we're not, that's no, excuse, we're not out here being carnal, but it's establishing the fact that, you know, violence is a tool and it's not fucked up that it exists. The Heavenly Father created it. It simply is what it is. Now in the kingdom of heaven, we will have our peace and our rest. But before then and until then, violence will be used. And, and, and we got, and you, 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 you're to fully understand this Bible. You have to be mature enough to understand that the Heavenly Father does what? And I'll end it on this. And it is controlled. And it is measured and tempered. And who is it controlled and measured and tempered by? Uh, oh, you know, actually I want the First Samuel one. First Samuel 2 and 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. So it is all controlled by the Heavenly Father. It will be dished out accordingly. We can, Like he said, Mal, uh, uh, MLK was wrong. We did, we did not. We're not going to be able to talk our way out of this. We need our Lord to come and deliver us. All right. So that's about it. You know, I saw that video. Uh, it was pretty good. It's pretty good. So I'm going to give all praises to you. I'm going to leave the link. You can come watch this whole interview. It's all right. I'm going to give all praises to you. How Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaf, Rosh, the waters, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations. All like the Akimah, Akwath, learning, teaching truth and sincerity. Shalom.